to the story. You say the family of a man who was shot by Carol Stream police demands answers. Demands answers. Let's go and put it up on the screen real quick. Let's see what's transpiring. Plea for justice one day after body camera video showing her son's death is released to the public. Our Casey Cronus spoke with her and is in Carol Stream with the latest on what is a developing story. Casey. Isaac Goodloe's mom tells us the pain is getting harder to bear each day. She says she and her loved ones still have more questions than answers about what unfolded when police got to her son's apartment last month. I feel like they broke my heart, a heart that's going to be broken for the rest of my life. As Bonnie Pigram grapples with losing her son, she is also desperate for more details about his death. He wasn't even aware those police officers was in his house. Police were responding to a domestic disturbance at Isaac Goodloe's apartment on February 3rd, where they were met outside by a woman who identified herself as Goodloe's girlfriend. The alleged victim had injuries that she claimed were the result of the physical altercation. It just took place between she and Mr. Goodlow. After 45 minutes of trying to contact Goodlow, police say six officers entered his unit. As they approached his bedroom, Police Chief Donald Cummings says two officers discharged their weapons and another deployed a taser. Hey, he's right here. No, he's right here. They're going there and hunt him down like that. They had their weapons out. That's not right. In a statement following the shooting, police called the situation tense, but haven't explained what led officers to open fire. Pigram says her son was sleeping at the time and tells us there is body camera video showing that. Every day I cry because I'm hurt. Especially because they didn't do their job, right? Pigram is calling for the names of the officers to be made public. How long they been on force? Was they trained correctly? Goodloe's uncle also says someone needs to be held accountable. The chief needs to explain why did his officers take that kid's life like that? That's what he needs to explain. Or he needs to resign. We requested a statement from the village in response, but did not immediately hear back. The family tells us they will be holding a vigil for Goodlow at the Carroll Stream Police Department on Monday at noon. Reporting in Carroll Stream, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago. So, so if this is in Chicago and they said a visual at 12 o'clock at noon, that's today. Let's see. Hold on. Let's see if we got, um, hold up. Because if that's today, let's see a vigil. Vigil. Vigil, vigil, vigil. I'm not seeing the vigil. Family of the man who shot the man on by the camp. Well, we have another vid. I didn't even see this dog on store, which is strange to me, but let's go. Hold on. Let's play this one here then. That was three weeks ago. Let's just try this one right here. Every part. And because this happened in, in, um, what is that place called? Chicago. So this is like a month ago. They say they shot my brother in his sleep. Okay. Damn it. Can we do this one? All right. We're going to do this one then. We're going to put this up on the screen. Let's see what they're saying right here. Look, look, look. Back it up. Here we go. We begin with the demands of a grieving family calling on the village of Carroll Stream to release the body camera footage of their loved one's final moments. Isaac Goodloe the third was shot and killed by police in his home on Saturday. And police say they were responding to a domestic violence call. CBS 2 Sabrina Franza has the latest from outside the Carroll Stream Police Department. Mm -hmm. This family just wants to know why police felt they had to shoot. They say Goodloe struggled with bipolar disorder, but his family cannot understand how a man they describe as calm, a family man, could be taken from them in this way. They shot my son down like a dog. They shot him down like a dog, like he wasn't even a human being. Isaac was a good man. A family. I just, damn it, I didn't. I didn't say nothing in the last video, but I got to say something in this video. She still ain't got no tears in her eye. This is mama. Mama with the blonde. Mama ain't got nothing there until. I don't, I don't understand it. Um, in this way. They shot my son down like a dog. They shot him down like a dog. Like he wasn't even a human being. 
cold like that. As it was the man. A family consumed by grief calls for compassion. We was real close. He will harm a fly. He was an amazing man. He had issues. And I need people to stop having the fact that it's not, there's nothing wrong with having a mental illness. Did you just say that on national television? Um, but she got tears. So she's actually hurt. She in 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 my opinion, she's actually hurt. But she said it ain't nothing wrong with having a mental illness. Wait, wait, what? Issues. And I need people to stop having the fact that it's not there's nothing wrong with having a mental illness. They want to understand how I think she thought about that as soon as she said as soon as it came out, and that's possibly why she stopped talking. There's nothing wrong with having a mental illness. They want See, like right after she said she she just with a stone face, you're like, damn, I know I ain't just say that. Yeah. To understand how this could happen. We haven't seen the video. We haven't heard the audio. We have not seen the police report. On Saturday, Carroll Stream Police responded to a domestic violence call made by a friend of Isaac Goodloe III. Family claims police told them Goodloe threw something at police before an officer started firing. Mm, so that's what they say, that he threw something at the police before the officer started fighting. Now, mind you, this was... Um, this whole story is like a month ago, but the body cam had not came out, which we saw. But he was supposed to be asleep. On Saturday, police said this: Officers encountered a tense, uncertain, and rapidly evolving situation, which resulted in officers discharging their weapons at the alleged domestic violence suspect. Family wants confirmation to see those final moments. This letter was sent to the mayor of the village of Carroll Stream and the chief of police asking for any body worn camera or audio records to be released to them. We just want justice for our brother. He got her, her shit fresh, freshly done. We want to know what happened. The officers involved are currently on paid leave as an independent investigation is underway here in DuPage County. The village of Carroll Stream promises a transparent investigation. We're in Carroll Stream. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. We say call Dr. Umar Johnson. She say, where is the black lawyers? Where the black attorneys at out here in the street? Say, where's Cornell X when you need them? Bam, say a sad story. You say, um, you say dark skinned women did what? Hold on, God, be, damn it. Why my mouth ain't working. Dark skinned women should not wear blonde hair. That's a fact. That's a fact, in my opinion. They should not be wearing it. You say, why do these women keep, keep, um, mentioning his, his mental health illness. You say, I don't want any black woman speaking on my behalf or my death. That's what's up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The village of Carroll Stream also telling us they have no updates on the case and we have not heard back from the police department. Mm, we heard back from us, law enforcement. Bam. Now, now they did say, because they did put a body camera out. Um, I mean, I, I just showed y'all the video. Wait, wait, wait. I thought it was something just a tad bit more recent. But yeah, yeah. I don't know how I did not get this dog on store. This one right here say that they don't I shot my brother some. Let me go and put this up here on the screen real, real quick there. Hold on. Hold on. I'm waiting just a few seconds. Waiting just a few seconds. Grab that. Pause that. Skip that. Do that. Should publicly release body camera video of a shooting that killed a man. Glenn's in the newsroom with the details. Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. Now I shot the Glenn with the turtleneck, killing him with the turtleneck. The good low was shot and killed by Carroll Stream police earlier this month after they responded to a domestic violence incident. His family said something is wrong with this case, telling us last night he was home alone and was asleep when someone at his apartment complex gave officers access to his unit. They've since seen that part, seen parts of that body camera footage, I should say, from that night, but now they want the public to see it all. Chance for justice outside of Carroll Streams Police Department. I get so sick of seeing us out here like that. I promise you, that I'm, I'm just sick of seeing us out here like that. Me from the family of Isaac Goodlow after watching parts of body camera footage detailing that February 3rd night where he was shot and killed by officers. The video is horrific. They lied. 
what they did was unjustified. They went in there and they shot my brother in his sleep. Family told us they saw about a half a dozen Carroll Stream officers burst into Isaac's home at the Village Brook Apartments carrying weapons and shields. We're told two of them opened fire on 30-year-old Isaac Goodlow. He was asleep and alone. They didn't announce themselves. They just looked around, they bust open in his, his door, in his bedroom door, and they shot him. And they treated him like a dog. And after that... What do you mean they treated him like a dog? How? How did they treat him like a dog? They just shot him while he was sleeping in the bed. How is that treatment like a dog? I don't know. They tased him. After he, was After he was already shot. Yeah. Carroll Street police say they were responding that night to a call of domestic violence. They described the incident as tense and uncertain, but family says the body camera footage shows how officers violated Isaac Goodlow's constitutional rights. It's sad. We look at them to protect and to serve us, not to listen to hearsay or just come in and do what they want to do because they have a badge. That's not fair. You say not listen to hearsay. But it was a domestic violence call. So they also need to talk to the person who called the police about a domestic issue. And then you have to think about it. If they call the police about something domestic, when the police got there, he was asleep. So how long from the time somebody called the police to the time that they came to the apartment? And then they said that it was a half a dozen of officers. Why would have why would it have taken a half a dozen officers, which is six, to go to a domestic violence call? That is not fair. You can't do that. We will not stop until we get justice for Isaac Goodlow. And, and damn it, they need uh, Carol Stream's police department says it will release the video after the DuPage Public Integrity Team and the state's attorney's office determines that doing so will not have a negative impact on their investigation. Back to you guys in the studio. So they will release the video after it's determined that it won't have a negative impact on the investigation? Team and the state's attorney's office well, determines... Now, Carol Strings Police Department says it will release the video after the DuPage Public Integrity Team and the State's Attorney's Office determines that doing so will not have a negative impact on their investigation. Back to you guys in the studio. Ooh, after they determine it, that's what's up. Move right along. I ain't going to eat much of you then. <laughs> Shit, I don't. Mm -mm.